My genius will be understood eventually. The weak fear the shadows. Fear controls them. No cure for fools. Are you certain? You used to be.
Welcome back, everyone, to another week of British Esports Championships Season 3. And today we have a round of 16 playoff game with AGSB Esports facing off against Farnborough College of Technology. And looking at the AGSB side, the only thing that we have to really think about is the fact that that NHX is not playing in this game. NHX is currently busy, so there has to be a sub. Um, the only Neo playing as a Blitzcrank in this game, of course. We're used to seeing the NHX Rakan play, um, and that pick being often in the support position for AGSB, but obviously today, NHX is busy. We've got a Blitzcrank instead. Apart from that, AGSB have pretty much a standard team composition, the team we have come to expect um, AGSB to pick up with Jinx on the ADC, Olaf a very common pick for Lemon Curd, Syndra definitely uh, one of Jang's uh, signature picks in the mid lane, and Kled in the top lane for Ewan. Looking across from them, this is um, obviously a team that we aren't used to seeing. This is Farnborough College in the bot lane against the Jinx and Blitzcrank. And this is something to uh, talk about, actually. There's a Misfortune Leona from them. And I remember that some of the members of this team are quite a high rank. There's certainly Hex Animal, who's playing Shen, is a platinum player. So it looks like that Shen will probably be in the top lane. The Misfortune is ranked gold three. So we can expect probably quite a competitive bot lane with that gold three Misfortune, along with the Leona against Vilfire's Jinx and the Blitzcrank from the sub, who we aren't yet sure of how the sub plays. In the mid lane, we're looking obviously at Zhang's signature, um, Syndra. And that's against Korean Billy. He's ranked bronze. But he is picking Oriana, which is more of a safe pick. In the jungle, Simon is reformed on a Mumu. He is uh, definitely a jungle player. From looking at his OPGG, there are some jungle champions there, and he's ranked gold. And so th this is a team. There's certainly some decent players here. I'm especially looking forward to seeing what um, Hex Animal on the Shen can do, although. I was under the impression that Hex Animal, actually more of an ADC main, uh, would be in that bot lane against Vilfire, but we'll see how this game uh, goes on, especially with the sub for AGSB, which is something we've not seen before. And the spectator delay just going down now so that we can get into game very soon. There we go, the um, loading screen just loading up there for this game of AGSB against Farnborough. I can quickly show the mastery points for everyone. The mastery points obviously for 
AGSB, we've come to expect those. But interesting to see on Farnborough's side, who's more proficient at their champions. Just fix a few of these scoreboard settings, visual settings. Now put on objective timers. Okay, so last game we saw this new strategy from AGSB to start with five people uh, invading in the bot lane instead of their usual five point start and it looks like they're going for that again because of how successful it was last game they're already running in and Farnborough are running out of there it looks like some dominance has already been established by AGSB especially in this um, bot side jungle Shen will opt for the top side start there Which, of course, for Shen isn't much of an issue. Shen isn't really needing that blue buff so early on. An early bear trap on a rope from Cled will put some, some damage onto the Oriana for this start of the lane. the Kled already being so aggressive even at level 1 but the Shen we can expect is a pick that can actually size up to the Kled especially with that Spirit's Refuge to stop the strong initial bursting auto attacks from the Kled but for the moment we can't expect too much to happen in these first few minutes of the game Lemon Curd now in a bit of trouble. Three members of Farnborough come up to him and Misfortune will secure that first blood with that double up. Olaf just in a poor position there. Easily collapsed on by four members of Farnborough's team. Now Ewan really kind of pushing up here in this lane against Hex Animal. Very rarely do you see Ewan freeze in these lanes. And in fact more often do you see him use his abilities on the enemy champion rather than the enemy minions. A kind of testament to his very aggressive playstyle. And Rumu now looking for a gank. The owner's already come forward with the Zenith Blade and that's going to stun up the Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank now in a tough position, but the tankiness from the Aftershock 
will grant him the resistances he needs to get out of that without actually having to use any summoner spells. Vilfire does use heal though. It looks like Ewan's actually taking a lot of damage forced to use that health potion. And a level below the Shen as well. The Q again used onto Shen. Finally now, Ewan in a spot of trouble. The passive activates, but Lemon Curd is here just to help. The flash used by Shen to get out of the way. And he might just be out here, but the flash also used by Ewan to secure the kill under Hexanimal. And now that's the return kill, the first return kill for AGSB in this game. We're now getting to 6 minutes 30 into, the, into this game. We're yet to see much action. There's been a few fights here and there. One kill each on the board. But soon I expect to see both teams look towards this first Infernal Drake. We can certainly see some wards being set up around that area already. But I wouldn't be surprised to see some contesting around there very soon. Both the Moomoo and Olaf are positioned around the bot side. Olaf, now it looks like he might be going for a gank mid. The Oriana sidesteps the axe, but the ultimate used by Olaf to chase the Oriana down. The Oriana ult will not save her. She will go down, but Leona is here to save the rest of the team. And now that's going to mean two members of AGSB down there, really perhaps overstepping to get that kill on the Oriana. And they will go down, both of them. And perhaps also we can expect this uh, Infernal Drake to go down in the favour of Farnborough after having killed the jungler, after having killed Lemon Curd from AGSB. Also seeing a lot of trades going down in this top lane. Again, Hex Animal being pulled in by that bear trap on a rope from the clad. Lemon Curd perhaps going up to do Rift Herald now. With that immense pressure that he's always trying to apply on with this Olaf. Billfire stunned up by the Leona. He's almost dead to Misfortune, but Misfortune has no mana to use her ultimate there. And ultimately, that's what saves Vilfire in that fight. Vilfire does use both summoners there, but is able to get out in the end.
now this Blitzcrank forced to try and save this tower all by himself. It looks like he can't do much. There'll just be some damage going down onto the tower. Some plates being taken before this 14 minute mark. And that means some more gold for Misfortune to buy some items with as the Misfortune backs right now. Looks like Lemon Curd set setting up around this topside jungle, looking towards the Umumu that's doing his camps. Umumu decides he wants this fight, and perhaps Lemon Curd is in too far. Lemon Curd, yes, he is. He activates the ult, but the Oriana will take him down. Oriana, though, then in a tough position because of Ewan's position with his ultimate. Hex Animal doing what he can, but unable to get any return kills for Farnborough. And Farnborough there were in a tricky position. They were able to get a kill onto Lemon Curd. But Oriana also being taken down and unable to do anything about the Kled ultimate. Looks like a Moomoo's now looking for a gank topside. The ping's already out and the taunt being used by the Shen onto Yuan. Yuan booted up by the ultimate from a Moomoo. And a Moomoo kind of in a bad position will be taken down by Lemon Curd. Lemon Curd now looking for the second kill to Hex Animal. Hex Animal running for his life. He uses flash and he uses his dash to get out. And he does also dodge the axe throw from Lemon Curd to get out of there just on a sliver of health. Thrift Herald summoned by Lemon Curd onto this tower. It looks like Examinal's trying to do what he can to stop the Rift Herald, but that's actually all a bait for Lemon Curd to use his ultimate and take down the tower and Hex Animal at the same time. Also, the ultimate being used by both mid laners, and they will both die to each other there. But this will be first turret, probably, for Lemon Curd if Amumu's unable to stop him in this top lane. Just a bit of health left on that top lane tower. It looks like Kled should soon be able to get rid of that as the teleport comes out from Hexanoor. moment of rest for the teams after some somewhat hectic plays in both sides of the map and especially as the ocean drake spawns in about 20 seconds we can expect both teams to start setting up around that bot side jungle again it looks like Ewan just wants to finish off this tower so dearly and he will get it off the lemon curd the olaf here as well of, as Lemon Curd to help secure this kill into Hex Animal, who really should have known that something was coming there and should have just walked off. Now spelling the seventh kill of the game for AGSB, but really Farnborough not trailing far behind with six. Jungler and top laner looking at this top tower whilst Amumu and the rest of Farnborough are looking to that Drake. It looks like Lemon Curd does go down to the tower. Oriana also going down. And so that's a one for one trade in the top lane. The tower will not be taken down yet though.
14 minutes have passed. That means plates are go have gone by now. And both teams are probably going to start looking at ending lane phase soon. Leona now ults up on the members of AGSB, but also the Blitzcrank having hooked in Michael. Michael uses the Misfortune ult, and that will be taking down the Blitzcrank. Vilfire is seeing what he can do in this fight, but even the Leona isn't going to go down. I'm going to survive on a bit of health after that tower dive. And really the 3v2 there does not go in the favour of AGSB, but we can imagine this might do. With Amumu running for his life, he goes into the Rift Herald pit. Olaf, having already secured the red buff, is now trying to find where Amumu's gone. Jang, you can see on the Syndra, chasing Amumu down. Amumu, I can't imagine, is able to get out of this predicament, especially with Ewan on that Kled coming up as well to assist. The flash used, and this might be an execute already. An execute by Amumu, that's really the best case scenario for him there. And he's also wasted quite a bit of time of three members of AGSB, which means here Oriana in the mid lane can do a bit of damage onto this tower. Although Rift Herald, we can also see being taken down by AGSB. This is the second Rift Herald of the game for them, and this is only at 15 minutes. It certainly seems like this game is quite split between the top jungle and the bottom and mid sides of the map. Certainly looking at the scoreboard and also seeing at things like dragons and at Rift Herald's Jang just caught up by Oriana's ult there and the ignite also used but he is going to survive. Misfortune now. The Zenith Blade comes out, but the flash from Vilfire will mean that it does not find its mark. Amumu also spotted by a control ward. A fight will not be ensuing just yet in the bottom lane. Ewan, inside the jungle, inside the topside jungle of Farnborough. And this hook from Neo is not going to find its mark. Lemon Curd also spotted an award, so we can't imagine that bot side for Farnborough will be looking for a fight there as they know what to expect. They know to expect some jungler attention. Michael, though, walking quite far up for that minion. Mumu also setting up around this bot side as well. We might expect to see a fight if Mumu does decide that he wants to help out. But importantly, also in under a minute, the next Drake is spawning. And with this Rift held also being summoned bot, we can only imagine some fighting going down as Mumu already uses the Q into here. The Rift held hits the turret. The Leona ult does not find a stun on anyone. And the unstoppable ultimate from Olaf will just about get him out of here. The Rift Herald is only useful for getting one turret. But now there is some priority on this Cloud Drake that is spawning in under 20 seconds. Should both teams want to try and get a second Drake. Now looking at 10 seconds, the taunt already hits the Blitzcrank and that's going to be Blitzcrank already dead. So a 4v5 if both teams decide to fight. It looks like AGSB are just conceding this uh, this uh, Cloud Drake, sorry. And they're going to instead look at pushing up mid lane. It seems that Farnborough are quite content to just recall after getting that Cloud Drake and not to run up mid lane and top lane to stop this massive push from AGSB. I do wonder whether actually that was worth for them to get one Cloud Drake in exchange for several towers and a lot of push from AGSB. AGSB definitely making quite a clutch decision there to just give up the Drakes and to push instead.
now both teams setting up around this mid side. The Olaf already using an axe on this wave. Both teams pushing up these waves. Neo has recalled. So it's a favorable it's a favorable fight for Farnborough should they look to start one. But it looks like they don't realize that it is favorable. They're kind of put um, pushing themselves back at this point, back towards their base. The recoil coming out from Mumumu confirms this. And now both teams are actually backing off at this point. Some setup in wards around this Baron, which is certainly the right idea, as the game gets past that 20 minute mark. And as we can imagine, both teams start looking towards those bigger objectives, like that Baron. Four members of AGSB and four members of Farnborough are near each other here in this mid lane. And we can imagine a fight to break out soon. We only have Kled and Shen in this bot side. Some split push action going on. But Kled also, it looks like he's coming up to join. And if we hear a Kled ultimate, we certainly know what the plan is for AGSB. Seems that Farnborough understand it's not their fight to make, and a lot of them recalling there. The Blitzcrank scouted out by Misfortune Z. But still no fight. Both teams have been set up in this area for so long, but they've not started a fight. And I feel that it's an, it's an inevitability that at some point they will fight around here, because they've both been set up here for so long. X Animal and Kled just spot spotting each other in the back bot side jungle. AGSB have a lot of options here. They could fall back and go onto the Baron, or they could look into pushing on this inhib tower, which currently it looks like they're trying to do with this small wave. The hook from Neo will not find anyone. Hex Animal and Kled just battling it out, but I can't imagine that it will bear any fruits for either team. Really, this mid lane tower is the prize that AGSB are looking for. But if it doesn't happen, they could look instead to this Baron, or indeed to the Drake that is spawning in just a few seconds. As now the pings do come out for this Drake. It looks like they're looking to get it, and I can only imagine they're able to get it long before any member of Farnborough is able to contest it. And now Farnborough, several members of Farnborough going up towards the Baron, perhaps looking up to set up in vision, certainly around the pit. Lots of wards being cleared. Now Amumu spotted by Olaf, he's slowed and he's forced to use his ultimate, but the stun comes out from Jang and now it looks like Amumu is already taken down and that is huge for both teams because now AGSB can perhaps look to get Baron uncontested. The Blitzcrank hook will bring up the, Mis the Leona and Leona already taken down. The rest of AGSB are chasing the rest of Farnborough and Misfortune and Mumu and Leona are now all taken out. There's only two members left of Farnborough and there's not much they can do to stop this Baron take from AGSB. The control ward just spotting them out but it will be cleared. Oriana is probably looking to use an ultimate. It might actually steal it, but 
it will not. The blue team, um, AGSB, do secure the Drake, and they also secure a kill onto, onto Oriana as a bit of a reward for that. And now they all look for a recall. All members with the Baron buff and nothing there to stop them. We now have Cled going again up that bottom lane, up that split push. Hex Animal looking to meet him. In fact, recalling now as he sees the Baron buffed minions come into the bot lane. Billfire securing that red buff as well before a supposed fight might break out in the mid lane as all members start setting up for another fight. Certainly for Farnborough to try and defend the push that they can expect. Just be entering the jungle, clearing out any vision. Again, Neo's hook doesn't find someone, so the fight won't start. Neo perhaps waiting for the cooldown for the next hook in order to actually start a fight here and be able to push into this base. of damage going down in this mid lane misfortune actually taking a hefty amount of damage from agsb forced to run off back to the fountain and lemon curd also pushing on this top side tower whilst ewan is pushing on the bottom side tower the ultimate used by lemon curd to stop the miss the oriana ultimate having any effect Perhaps, though, he's biting off more than he can chew. The stopwatch he used to buy him some time, but he will go down to three members of Farnborough. Not before AGSB get the inhibitor in the mid lane, and perhaps now looking for the inhibitor tower in the bot lane. Ewan, though, caught up with the taunt, Dot is able to get out of there. And three members of AGSB going towards the top side. Probably able to get this topside inhibitor as there were no members of Farnborough yet able to defend. The tower just about survives on such little health. One auto attack and it would have been taken down. have a cloud drake up at the moment which i can only imagine that agsb will be looking to get as we already see a lot of them setting up around that side of the map they'll probably be looking to get this uncontested as the members of farnborough go actually towards the top side there's a lot of them top side and mumu the only one defending mid I can only imagine they're that scared of Misfortune or Oriana being picked off. But that means that AGSB are free to push up bottom side with very little defense from Farnborough. 
the tower is already gone and they can look to just attack this inhibitor. Whether the inhibitor will go down remains to be seen. Remains to be seen on actually where the front were able to defend. Again, the hook from Neo doesn't find the misfortune. You can imagine how different this fight would be if it had have found that misfortune. But Kled just getting the remaining HP on this tower. The demolish activating just to finish it off. from misfortune slowing Kled but Kled's able to get out and the inhibitor now being focused by Vilfire will be taken down the flash taunt from the Shen will taunt them all up and the ultimate from misfortune will take them all down Kled is the only one left he's able to get that inhibitor and that's all three inhibitors taken down in the base of Farnborough but a beautiful flash taunt from from Hexanimal from that platinum three player will ensure that every member, or at least four members, of AGSB are caught up in the ultimate from Michael on the Misfortune. Now perhaps this is a free Baron, really. And Farnborough are extremely happy about this one. I can't imagine Kled's able to do anything to stop them taking this. He's very much walking up. Quite confident, really. The ultimate being used by Jinx as well. And that will be a steal. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The steal from a Jinx rocket. That is absolutely huge. That means that win condition. That win condition for Farnborough has just been stolen away. That was the one way of getting back into this game. And now, in fact, AGSB have it. And AGSB can just look now, perhaps, to have the final push. I can only imagine how gutted they must feel. They actually, perhaps, could have won this game. This Fortune now hooked up. Does flash away there. But the Baron buff and the super minions, the double super minions in every lane is going to be very, very difficult to defend from. That mid lane inhibitor respawn is just a very small sigh of relief. Because it will only be taken down very shortly by AGSP. In fact, as soon as it's respawned, it's taken back down again. But that means there is one wave in the mid lane where there aren't super minions. The Misfortune hooked up for a second time and she doesn't have Flash to save her this time. She does have an Amumu, the ultimate being used by Misfortune, but it's not going to be as successful as last time. Hexanimal doing what he can with the dash, but Hexanimal will ultimately go down to Vilfire as well. It looks like every member of Farnborough is being taken down by Vilfire. Vilfire doing so much damage, already a triple kill, and now Vilfire focusing that Nexus to get the last few hits and to win this game in the playoffs of the BEC. And that will be all for me today. Thanks very much for watching. That was certainly an exciting game and a fun game for me to cast. And I will see you guys next week and we should have another game.